Time, bro. Let's hope. Oh, the Nico is support. Denial from carry, I guess. It's my prediction, bro. Uh, probably 3 0 Dom 1. Probably just T1 losing. No matter what. Damn. Damn. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Bro, they look like they're going to get fisted in this game. I'll be honest. It looks like Dom 1's just going to get completely rolled. It looks like a hard Diana game, no? And it might be fine. I think it's so hard to play Diana in games like this. But maybe I don't know something about new Diana. T1 better draft? Yeah, I would take T1 draft here. I think a lot of it is just going to come down to like how does Kellen actually play. If they win bot and Kellen outplays Karia, which doesn't normally happen, maybe they can win. I mean, Diana versus Oriana just sounds like it would be hard. I mean, what teams have been doing to beat T1 is they've been banning Oriana. Yeah, 11 0 on Oriana for Faker. I mean, it's been his best champ like he he smurfed on it at worlds like one of his best champs at worlds he was consistent i don't know man I feel like leaving oriana is a mistake versus this guy what do they end up banning instead I and mean, maybe they just feel like they had to ban azir honestly i'd probably ban both i feel like the drop off has been pretty big for faker all right so how do we live like if zinjao is mid right now isn't the game just like aren't you just dead why is zinjao not mid right now actually why is zinjao not here Pretty sure if Zinjao is here, this guy is like beyond dead. Guess they traded in a way where now he'll be able to reset. Nice from Carrier here. Okay, solid from aiming. At least, in, at least it needs a base and a run bot. We got a problem. Zin's also here. Mid fake based. Nah, Karia. Okay. Zin is here, but so is Lee Sin. Guma's trying to bait them, but owner hasn't based, and Lee Sin has. Oh, let's go. no, no. I was so hyped. Thought that was gonna kill. Still really good for Dalman's balling. Dalman's balling. Are they just owning him? Like, what's happening? Is Caria just a fraud? Just kidding. He's the goat. He's the best player. Do not find any of my family members' private information. Thank you. Man, I really can't imagine this matchup being good. I feel like versus Oriana, you like almost never want to play melee assassins. Like, Oriana's historically been super good against melee assassins because she's very hard to kill. She's very tanky for like a general mage because of her E. She has mobility with W, and then especially right now, people go first item seraphs, which makes makes them pretty unkillable later on. All right, we need the whole world to come help on this wave. Okay, so the main thing here is that Varus is here, so Carrie is just inting here. Yeah, I mean, they had to know that, that Varus was mid. I mean, Diana flashed the shockwave. He didn't, it could have been one for one. All right. Lucid missed the grub. <clears throat> All three grubs went to T1, though. Not bad. Guma's going to the Thalady Callista shit. Is pretty garbage, I think. Oh, Amy went first item. Wait, what? Amy went first item tabbies. Jesus, bro. Seems kind of pussy, oh, bro. Seems kind of pussy, oh. I'm surprised Kingen is actually playing really well top. What? Wait, how is Kingen, with Zin even like being topside and taking grubs, how is Kingen actually out CSing Zeus? And he has TP? It's crazy. It's looking nice for Damwon so far. I'm just worried about the Diana's, uh, yeah, what Diana can actually do in this game. Worried about the impact of Diana. Game is slow, bro. I was not expecting this. I thought this was going to be a much faster paced game. With Nico support versus... Helen? Helen just running it down? Bro, why are they why are they playing so scared i can see if like one of the teams is a different comp but like i feel like both teams want to fight here dude what is this nah bro they were so slow on the combo like come on this is actually such a like a one situation so easy for them to win this I mean, the Camille was actually like the, the, the Camille actually 
fucked up pretty hard in lane. Which is supposed to be one of the strongest parts of Camille. Yeah, Karyo was just really far behind. He had no sums. He, he had no sums early, then he went mid, and he ended up, like, uh, dying. Should have been good. He literally just should have been completely fine. For Dom one. And then Kellen ran it down. The classic. Oh, he just gets it. Nice. Shoemaker just gonna get the first turret. Pretty big. Just like I'm watching the game and I I feel like there's just a lack of aggression when you're playing these types of comps. Okay. Oh, nice, Kellen. That's all, that's yours, bro. Let's go. This guy has no flash. Oh, Shoemaker missed. Oh, there it is. I don't think T1 should be fighting this at all, by the way. Baker has no ult. That was a good fight. I just want to see them looking for more opportunities. I feel like that's one of the strengths of T1 is how they, they like perma fight. Or they fought a lot before. And they play around like bot lane. Ality Callista, yep. Oh my god, that was disgusting from Karia. Holy f <laughs> Jesus, man. Nice, clean. Clean from Kingen. God damn, bro. Carry is really fing running it with that with that E flash. And he's playing well. Yeah, I mean he's playing really well. He played a lane that he's supposed to be losing. He won his lane. It's been more impactful than Zeus overall. Bro, this Diana looks like it does zero damage though. Like he was all inning there. Ah, oh, Kellen is in feeding. Nice. I mean, he was playing, uh, he, yeah, like, he played directly onto the Kalista, the Diana, and he just wasn't able to do any damage. There's zero MR, but I mean, I guess Diana, or I guess Kalista is pretty tanky. Edge of Night has HP from that, has tabbies, which works against Diana autos. I mean, this is just such, like, terrible. Oh my god. I mean, I get what he was trying to do, but it was, like, really ugly. Like, what you can do is you can E and then you can flash into a wall and then stay on the wall and then E from that portion. So you can, like, E to the wall and then flash here and then take your E. I mean, it, it is probably one of, like, the harder Camille mechanics. I mean, he just completely flopped it, though, and if you do that, it's really terrible, obviously. Like, there should definitely be some type of summoner imbalance. All right, we're fighting here. I like that. Oh, nice. Good exhaust, though. Oh, they're going on to Guma. I think this is probably bad. Yeah. T1 just gonna, like, end the game off this? Or, like, what's happening here? <laughs> like, what the f***? He's get Baron. All right. Dude, this Diana pick. I mean, he hit two-man ult. He just gets exhausted. <clears throat> and it just and he just does zero damage afterwards. He had pure 1v1 by Zeus, and Eamon gets pure 1v1 by Zeus, and they have no damage. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is kind of like the problem with Jax. This shaman actually just does zero damage. Oh, they're TPing behind. This looks really horrible to me. Okay, so the game's over. Hey, Baron, right? GG. This game was like so dry, bro. There was there was nothing on this. There was nothing on this fucking game. Vein pick for Zeus. Vein versus Cassante. Bro, is it just me or doesn't Vein just doesn't Vein look pretty hard to play in this game later on? Like Vagar Cage seems really annoying. Not all seems annoying. But I mean lane should be really good for him.
And it is actually Sejuani bot lane. Okay, so T1 win. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I could definitely see T1 winning this game. I mean, I don't think draft really matters, bro. Like, let's be honest. We saw the last game. This was, the draft didn't go anything like what you'd see. Fine, walks it off. That's TP level one, though. Uses one pot. Like, last game draft, if you were to, uh, to say, like, oh, what is this draft gonna be? It's like, oh, it's gonna be a ton of, like, uh, fighting, a ton of 3v3 bots, like, really high kills. Like, that would have been the idea there. And it just wasn't any of those things. Who the f*** does Zeus think he is? He's... I mean, he thinks he's the best top. It was last year at Worlds. He's not playing into Doran. The thing is, this is actually really good for Zeus, uh, the way he's trading here. Because he was actually trading outside of the lane. I mean, there's, they're, they're just trying to burn Ghost. He's got to be careful here. Okay. Burns the flash as well. Not bad. Rookie, you leave, please? You're just soaking experience for no reason. Thank you. Good gank, though. Hey, they're kicking Zen out of the jungle. Jumpmaker has no E yet, probably. Or he uses it under turret. Okay. Owner, no flash. This is smart from Lucid. This is like potentially game winning from Lucid. Oh, it sucks that he got revealed. You need to flash there? I think he was assuming Vigor had cage. But he flashes there also so he doesn't need to reset so he can save his HP. Oh, we're fighting? Oh, I mean, missed W. Owner is just dead here, by the way. Bank. Bank. Lucy just waits for Cassante. Oh my god, why did he do this? Like, wait, wait, wait. If he just waited, if he had some patience here, it's like really good, I think. Oh! No! Vigor with the flash? Long time on E. I mean, I don't think King and runs him down, bro. Just go to your wave, no? Go to your wave. Your wave is pushing out, bro. Go to your wave, no? Oh my god, bro. He can't move anywhere. Dude, why are we not walking to top wave? I mean, that's really good for a T1. I think also King and really griefed here, by the way. By, like, trying to chase Faker down instead of just walking to his top wave that was, like, in really bad state that was pushing away from him. I think he should be, like, insta-running top there. Faker is not six yet. Oh, Faker just got six off the ward. They shouldn't fight then. They should not fight. I, I mean, they should never fight this, I don't think. Oh! <laughs> They're scared, bro. They thought Lucid was about to send it. Sliding? Ah, <laughs> uh, I missed that. I think Dawnmon draft scales better. Yeah, I mean, I think Dawnmon has better draft technically here in my mind. It depends on how good you think Senna is. Because, like, Senna, I guess, technically outranges. But I'm not too worried about things outranging Vagar anymore when Vagar has, like, uh, Shirelias and stuff. And I feel like they should just be able to get a reset for Viego with this team comp. I think it's pretty hard to play Vayne in this game as well. I mean... Ellen is just hinting. Nice. Oh, good flash from Zeus. If he didn't flash the Q, he would have died. That would have been really close. Maybe he doesn't die. Would have been really close. I guess, uh, I guess they're basing. All right, they're not looking for it at all. Oh, they are looking for it. Never mind. I have no clue what they're doing. Wait, do they just lose? Showmaker just is dead? Nice. Wow, I'm surprised they lose that so hard. I'm really surprised they lose that so hard. Zeus was top and uh, he was late to the fight and they still lost it. And they don't have any TPs. They're just having to give up top. Okay. They get a pick. I mean, they're still losing out on top. 
Vayne just ulted top to murder this turret. I mean, that's good for T1, bro. Good for T1. This Drake doesn't really matter. Zeus is getting huge. Zeus is here. Kellen, what are you doing, brother? Nah. Yeah, they're just dead. I think Kellen is just hinting the whole game, right? Oh, nice. Lucid is dead, too. Mm, GG. Wow, this is just dry as f**k, isn't it? What the hell? Wait, what? Wait, wait a second. Wait, what? Am I missing something? Lucid is still dead. Wait, T1 win this fight hard as T1 wins super hard, by the way. And they still should win pretty hard. Still should win pretty hard. Yeah, they win extremely hard, like we said. All right, GG. Is that one is just the worst team than a team that has not had practice for two weeks? By the way, is there any any time where people where they said they actually didn't scrim for two weeks? Is there anywhere that they actually said that, or did like the community just make that shit up? Because I remember them saying scrims had even been affected, but I don't think that they actually didn't scrim for two weeks. And they, they didn't say it, but the solo queue accounts hadn't played for two weeks. Yeah, but they're on other accounts. Like they have like secret accounts, by the way. It's not that they haven't played solo queue for two weeks. They haven't played solo queue on their main accounts for two weeks. They got accounts from Riot. Baker said he hasn't played a game of League since 2018. Oh, true. Okay. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. Should be free. I mean, they just need to... They just need, I think they just needed to hit it. Have carry his own Lucid. They saw where Lucid was. I mean, this is they're actually losing a lot here. Like, of tempo. They probably just win the fight no matter what, though. I would assume. Oh, okay. Back to Baron. Yeah, if, if they let Vayne get this fed, maybe it's just unplayable. Good angle from Zeus. If you see how he positions, he's like positioning away from the rest of his team. Give himself more space to play around because if he walks with his team, it's going to be really hard to play around Cage. Oh, well, give me the... Give me the bug again. Give it to me one more time, please. Down there. Oh, nice. Everyone's dead. Cool. Well, it's just GG. Yeah, I think they're they're dry. I think they got killed on one two. I mean, I'm not sure how good Sejuani bot lane is. I don't think it should be as good as it ended up being. I think Amy just kind of f***ed up. But I think giving Senna a zero for Nautilus is like crazy. You're telling me that this Nautilus pick is worth more in the game than the Senna and the Zir? Three oh, yeah, it looks like a three oh. Looks like they're completely outclassed. I mean, game one was kind of like. I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a draft issue. I'd say once again, they just like miss the timings where their drafts are actually better So that it becomes like a draft issue, but only because they like suck at the part of the game where they actually are winning They're like too afraid to fight Okay Zeus just turbo ran it. Wait, maybe they can't end Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see Maybe they can't end it Okay, GA bro GA saved it. Holy f Zeus ran in and they almost weren't able to end. Okay, yeah, Rumble top. I mean, I guess Dom Juan is playing to try to win early game. I mean, hey, I, I don't hate it, bro. They had to do something. This is still not six. He's dead. Ah, uh, very big. 
상태에서 T1도 그냥 대놓고 여기 수색할 수 없는 거야. Figures is gonna trade ults. It's good. I think it's fine for Figures. I think it's smart. 이런 데서 대놓고 싸우면 럼블의 파괴력이 좀 세게 나올 수 있어요. 그렇죠. Okay. Clean. Oh, he hit six. He hit six. He's getting the reset here. Clean. <laughs> oh, he hits those. I mean, Kellen is not level six. He needs to chill. Oh my god, Kellen, bro. Kellen, why are we taking that back in? Wait. Wait. Huh? Guma Dui? I mean, he just thinks he's dead anyway. I think it's fine for Guma to trade one for one, but I mean, it shouldn't be one for one, I don't think. Like, oh, good. Pretty clean there. Top is suffering. I mean, I think Kagan's laning has actually been pretty damn good. Like this series. Like, even the Cassante versus Vayne lane, I think he did better than he probably should have, all things considered. They have Rumble here already. TF has ult, but he's nowhere close. Should just be free. Hey, owner's here. I remember some owner Poppy versus uh, versus LNG, but like I don't know if this has been one of his best picks. Ultim. No maker can go. Oh, good kick. People are dead here, bro. We dying. Oh, Showmaker gets another reset. It's so hard. Zeus TP as well. They have to win this fight. If they don't win this fight, the game is lost, I think. I don't know. Rumble is just getting free stuff bought. It's probably just GG. How did we not get six grubs in this game, though? As Dom won. With how the top side looked. All right. Drake should be literally free. T1 can never win the fight, I don't think. Flashes are all up for Dom1, and they're way stronger at this timing. It'd be giga free. Don't take it versus Poppy, bro. Don't take it versus Poppy. Don't do this versus Poppy, bro. Why are we doing this versus Poppy? Are we trolling? I mean, we're going to rumble ult and kill this guy, no? Okay, I guess not. I guess he didn't want to rumble ult for the free kill on... Area, but like why are we burning our flash and doing this versus a poppy man? It's so crazy to me. It just seems really really ill, but okay I guess it's fine. It's like really criminal to take the herald versus a poppy because poppy will just w and then you have to flash Or you're just insta dead. I mean unless you kill the turret and you're like a tank and you can engage obviously like I like hitting bot turret here This is nice from lucid Enemy team camp baron because showmaker has dp. I feel like not enough uh Junglers do this. This is really good gameplay Okay, Showmaker is just getting caught. He has ult. Okay. Oh no, not like this, bro. It's actually not the end of the world. They get top turret. Oh, actually, uh, they didn't even get local gold on the top turret. Showmaker has CP, though. It's not the end of the world. Like, Domon is I mean, Domon should win this next Drake fight. Like, this Drake fight should be Domon win. Like, Domon's still in a pretty good position. Gold lead is bigger than it looks too, because like TF is making like passive money that's kind of not real. Oh, Kingen is just dying. Or oh my God, owner just failed his flash into the wall and inted so hard, bro. No way, no way that they they lose this fight. No way, bro. Don't tell me. Say it ain't so. Holy. F they're so garbage around objectives, man. They're so garbage. That's Baron. Like, owner failed his flash into the wall as well. That was horrific, man. That was such a great spot for Damwon to be in. Like, enemy team is walking into a fight that they have no business fighting. But yeah, I mean, King and just mispositioned over the wall. And they get Drake. I mean, the whole, like, Damwon's entire win condition just, lo just left as well. Yeah, they just lose the game now. Cool. What? W? What? Oh, they're just tilted now or something? I don't know.
Yeah, I think they're just tilted or something. I mean, the poppy pick is, is good in the game, but they... I mean, I think they just made too many mistakes. Honestly. Like, T1 made too many mistakes, they should just lose. At least this game. Like, they essentially fought a 4v5... Top, are they a 5v4 top that they lost? While Ari, or while, um... Kingen was sitting bot turret. Bliss is not even here to save Kellen yet. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't even have ult, never mind. Just go hard bot or what? There's no wave mid. Somebody should probably go bot here. Or not, bro, whatever, it's fine. Yes, Zeus is getting mid wave. Is it open bot? Oh, it's open season. Hey, cool, balling is, is open. This is where T1 just wins the fight and they just win the game. Desperation fight into T1 just winning and then they just win the game. They're just sitting on their turret. Sitting on the Azir turret. I mean, they should actually kind of get f***ed here, I think. Okay, Faker. Uh, Faker's dead, it looks like. Guma gets a reset here. All right, they all died. They did end up all dying. Maybe it's not turbo over. It looks pretty over though. But maybe it's not turbo over. Oh, IE completed on TF. TF is gonna just like one shot the, um, the Kalista in the next fight. Kalista's no cleanse. They should just start Baron. They can just start Baron and turn pretty easily, I think. Start Baron, make sure you split up. Probably get this wave first. They go one more wave. Maybe you can just go Baron, no? Oh, Lucid? Oh, okay. Trying to go into Zeus. It's pretty good. They got Zeus. Wait. Are they all dead, though? I mean, I guess T1 just gets free Baron. Soul point for Dom1. I saw Azir went out. Oh, owner actually stole it. Oh, they're just... Okay, Lucid? Ugh. Oh, GG. Probably just end. Yeah, they end bot. Oh, Faker is going to have the insane shuffle here. Faker! Oh, GG! Alright, guys. That was a super dry 3-0. Damon looked like they were just nowhere close to being able to win this series. I'm probably going to end up taking a uh, little like hour-long break, and then I'll come back for um, LPL. LPL should be a banger. It's JDG top today, so that's what we're hoping for. All right, I'll see you guys for that. Peace.